Hello, Professor Gregory Thompson. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you choose to watch this video. I hope you're well. <clears throat> uh, my name is Charles Campbell. I'm a second year student here at St. Mary's. I'm studying my major in uh, marketing, and I'm also a defensive back for the Smew Huskies football team. Uh, so my for my first um, recorded learning journal, um, I've chosen to talk about the different stages of team development as I feel I can relate to that the most and it interested me the most uh, when we we looked over that uh, that section. Um, and what I'm going to talk about and relate it to is um, this past football season, the uh, 2022 Smew Huskies football season. Um, I'm not sure if you are aware, but we had a whole new coaching staff. So just kind of building building a whole new uh, culture to the football program and starting from the ground up with all our new coaches and um, going through the different stages of team development. Yeah, so uh, there's, there's five different um, stages to our team development, which are forming, storming, norming, performing, all rhyming, and adjourning. Uh, and so I'm gonna take you through all five of those and um, give a rundown of how I can compare to those um, through this past season. So here we go and I hope you enjoy. All right, so the first uh, stage of team development is forming. Um, in my case, as a football program, this usually happens in mid to late August uh, before training camp. And so at the start of this season, what happened is we all came together as a team, players and coaches. Um, for everyone who didn't know each other, we introduced each other, um, introduced ourselves to new players, new staff members, new coaches. Um, from there, we went on a break off into our positional groups. Um, this is who we'll be working with for most of the season. Um, and we, we introduced ourselves. We had new coaches this season. So introduce ourselves to our new, um, I play defensive back, my new defensive back coach, um, and just really start my relationship with him because we'll be spending so much time together and form a relationship. All right. The, uh, the next stage we have in uh, stages of team development is my personal favorite, which is uh, storming. This is when it gets competitive. Um, so this is when, in my situation as a football team, we'd uh, all do our testing for strength and athleticism. Um, we give co the coaches a taste of what we can do on and off the field. Um, and we're really all just competing for roles. Um, we all want to be the best at what we do. And so there is a little bit of conflict at times, but it's all to make your teammates better and, and be a better team. So after uh, storming, then comes norming. Uh, so in the norming stage, this is when uh, roles are established. This is when you find out um, in my situation, when you're going to play, what position, like where you're going to play. And this is usually when the coaches come out with the depth charts. So that'll be like each position has a, a starter, a backup, a third string, and so, so on and so forth. Um, also in the norming stage, this is when you, you um, figure out a team objective for your position and for a team as a whole. Um, because usually in the norming stage, this is when you're about to go to the performing stage where you play. So you really need to be clear on what your team objective is. And that's usually a job of the players, but mostly the coaches. Performing. And this is, this is the fun stage. This is what it all comes down to. Um, so in this stage, you get to perform with your team um, and show everyone the trust you've built. Uh, the skills you've developed over, in our case, as a football team, the past couple of months, all the rest of the season. Uh, this is when you get to play the game. Um, and this is when you really get to strike for your team objectives, all the, all the things you've worked for in the past couple of months. Um, in our case, as the Smew Huskies, um, our, our objective every year is the Loney Bowl, which is the Atlantic University Sport Championship. Um, and I think for every team that goes through the stages of team development, 
by the end of this stage performing um, it's what it all comes down to like I said you either you either get the objectives you've been working for or you don't so the fifth and final stage of the stages in t of team developments um, is adjourning this is when in uh, in our case football team the season's over um, you know so what this would look like is the senior players who are graduating would move on uh, they'd be done um, and you would kind of just prepare for next season the off season comes around uh, this usually happens in the new year um, and you just yeah you, you start preparing for uh, next season work on your weaknesses and keep developing as a player and as a person and building building stronger relationships with coaches and teammates. Thank you for watching, Professor. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Go Huskies.